Welcome back to Qtronics, and yes, today Crix has done it. He has finally updated the EverDrive X7 to work with the Analog 3D. And you know what? He only got his console on Monday, and we're two days in, and he's already got an update. As you can see on my screen now, it said fixes for the Analog 3D have been released. So let's get into there and read his messages. So as he points out here, he got his sample, and it's working now. So basically, what we need to do is download a new OS, and a new boot ROM. So basically what he said is all future purchases now on will have this new bootloader so nothing will have to worry about it. But the caveat here is to get your existing X7 working you need an original N64 as we can't boot into it on the analog. Now that's not strictly true. He did say if you don't have an original N64 you can solder a 1k pull down resistor to to the pin AD7, which again, do you want to mess with your EverDrive in that way? Maybe not. I probably could get away and do it, but I have an original N64, so we're not going to do that. Right, let's get the stuff downloaded, get it updated, and show it working. Right, let's go. So I've already downloaded the OS and I've downloaded the boot ROM. So if we head over to my documents, we will see them here. I've extracted the OS, so we've got a brand new ED64. Right, I've plugged in my SD card for the EverDrive, so we're going to copy this folder and basically drop it in on the root and when Windows asks us, we're going to replace everything that needs to be replaced. So there you go, that's all done and then we need to also drop the boot ROM and he said to drop that onto the root of the SD card, so just to confirm those instructions uh, download the boot ROM and copy it to any place on the SD card. Uh, run the cartridge on an original N64 and in the cart menu select the boot ROM and press A. So let's get over to the N64 and do that. I'll catch you in a second. Right then guys, I've got the N64 plugged in. Let's get the EverDrive into it and turn it on. You get a nice little boot here. Obviously I've got this going through the retro tink. There we go, we're in. And if we go down to the boot ROM and install it, we should be good. Let's go. I don't like seeing warning messages like that. Let's say, uh, you know, things could break. So let's press start and begin. Obviously, need to caveat this. If you've got some kind of clone X7, this probably ain't going to work. But we don't, so we're good. Right, let's turn off the system. And then turn it back on. And hopefully, it all boots up and we've got no issues here. Okay, that's cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of that boot ROM off my card and we'll get over to the analog and we'll have a look. Right, I'll catch you in a second. Right guys, we're back. The analog 3D is ready to go. There's no cartridge put in there yet. So I'm going to put the EverDrive X7 in and let's turn it on. Boop. We'll power it on. So hopefully you should now see that appear on the screen. Obviously I'm screen sharing, so there's a little bit of a delay here for you guys for me to see it and you see it at the same time. But I just wanted to film it being in and then on the screen. So the 3D's juicing up. It says unknown cartridge, obviously, because it's an EverDrive. So let's click play and let's see if this works. Hey, we're working. So I think the only thing we can do here, as a massive fan of Pokemon I am, is to load up Pokemon Stadium 2. I think there's, no, there's no reason, right? Let's get it loaded and let's make sure that all loads up nicely. Obviously, I'm doing the PAL version as well because I am from, you know, the UK, so we have a PAL console. And there we go. Look at that in all its glory. Now, obviously, I've not messed with any of the settings or anything to change how it looks. I just wanted to show you straight off the bat how it was working now with the EverDrive. So, there you go, guys. It's that simple to update your EverDrive and get it working now and unlock that library of games. Um, I'm going to be looking at soon creating a cart that has a single game on it because obviously with the EverDrive we don't get the nice library from the OS on the Analog 3D whereas if we get a cart that has a single game on it it should show up theoretically as a game in the library and then you can see all the games and how much times you've played. So let me know in the comments if that's something you want to look out for and I will have a look, see what I can find and get one done. Anyway, other than that, guys, I will be giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED modded when I hit 2,000 subs. So if that's something you're interested in or you found this video useful, 
don't forget to subscribe as it really helps the channel to grow and I'll catch you later. See ya.